My wife and I were recently on the Enchanted Princess, one of only two ships in the Princess fleet to offer the amazing 360 dining experience. It was my birthday, so, you know, we had to do it. What do we think of it? Was it worth the hefty price tag? I'm going to give you my review and then stick around because I'm going to tell you three things that I think Princess could do to make the 360 dining experience even better. Thanks for watching today. I'm Jeff. Both the Enchanted Princess and the Discovery Princess offer the 360 dining experience, and no doubt about it, it really is a dining experience. Now, the first thing you should know is that the 360 is going to cost you extra, quite a bit extra. It's $149 per person, so let's round up and just call it $300 per couple. There's a little bit of mystery about the 360 dining experience. As you walk around the ship, you're not going to see a sign for the 360 restaurant. Instead, you'll receive a letter in your stateroom cryptically telling you where to be and remind you that the dress code is dress to impress. I wore a sport coat and a tie, and I was surprised to see that only a couple of other men had a sports coat on. My wife looked amazing, but then again, she always does. On one end of the piazza, there was a roped off area with a 360 backdrop. This was our meeting place. When we got there, we were checked in and given a special 360 cocktail before having our picture taken in front of the backdrop. Only 20 people are allowed at each dinner, so we spent a few minutes chatting with our fellow diners before our host welcomed us and showed us the secret way into the dining room. We went through the Catch by Rudy's restaurant into the kitchen where there was a secret door that led us to the dining room. We were escorted to our seats at one of two large semicircular tables. The room is surrounded by a large video screen and throughout the dinner incredible things are projected onto the table and onto your dishes. The first amazing thing happened right after we sat down and a light from above projected a message welcoming us by name onto the table in front of us. My message even wished me a happy birthday. I wish I could have gotten a video of that but by the time I got my phone camera on the message had disappeared. As we waited for the experience to begin, we had some musical entertainment. Now, I've seen other videos where they've had violinists walking around, but we were treated to a trombone and flute. Then the video started. We followed Brooke Shields as she travels around the Mediterranean, and at every stop, we get to try a new dish and get some information on the region or about those responsible for producing the food that we were eating. The technology that goes into this event is amazing. Not only does the overhead projection system change the look of the table, but it also tracks your plate. So if you move your plate like this, the projection follows it. Every now and then you get an interactive projection too. If you touch one of the pictures on your table or the plate, some interesting things can happen. To add to the immersive nature of the 360 dining experience, if you pay attention, you'll notice that aromas are piped in at certain points. For instance, if there's a field of flowers, you may be aware of a floral scent. It's a nice nuance that you may miss if you don't know to look for it. But enough of the technology, let's talk about the food. Now to start with, it really helps if you have an adventurous palate. The seven course meal includes among other things, olives, cheese, pasta with lemon, octopus, and one of the best steaks we've ever had. Now, I'm not a big olive fan, but I really did enjoy these olives. And the octopus was delicious too. But I can see that some people may not be able to get over the thought of eating octopus, which is why I say it really helps if you have an open mind and a sense of adventure when you come to the 360. 
The meal is paired with certain wines, and one of my favorites was this very unique red wine from Alexia. It's called Sea Star. It's a wine that's aged for six months in the ocean. The bottles have barnacles and other growth on them, which gives them a very cool look. And the wine was wonderful too. And by the way, I found out from experience that even if you play the birthday card, they're not gonna give you one of those cool empty bottles to keep as a souvenir. At the end of the meal, we celebrated with champagne and watched as our pictures that were taken in the waiting area were shown on the screen. It was a very nice touch. Before I give you my final thoughts on the 360 dining experience and tell you three things that I think Princess could do to make it even better, I'd like to ask you to please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the Backroads Tourist Channel. I have a lot of cruise tips, tricks, news and reviews, as well as other fun stuff that I bring you throughout the week. So please subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the fun. The 360 dining experience is amazing, but I don't think it's for everyone. I think that you have to be the kind of person who enjoys this kind of experience and presentation, and it helps if you can appreciate the technology and the choreography that goes into an event like this. As I mentioned earlier, you should be willing to try new foods and just immerse yourself in the theatrics and enjoy the whole presentation. There are three things I think Princess should add on to the 360 dining experience to make it even more memorable. And two of these things were done when we did the chef's table dining experience about a year earlier, so I don't know why they didn't incorporate it into the 360. First of all, I would have loved to have gotten a menu of what we had for dinner that night. With seven courses, it's hard to remember what was served and which country or region it represented. That would have been very nice. At the chef's table, they also gave us a group photo at the end of the night, and all of the ladies received a rose. At the 360, they did take our picture at the beginning of the event, and they showed it on the screen, but we didn't get a copy of it. However, it was possible to buy one through the Princess app. I'm just saying that including it like they did in the chef's table would have been a great touch. Finally, I wish they would have given us some kind of special 360 dining experience memento to remember the night. Something like a pin, coin, corkscrew, bottle stopper, something tangible to take with us to remind us of this extraordinary event. Would I do the 360 dining experience again? Well, if it were a special occasion, I would. At about $150 per person, it is a bit expensive, but when you consider the show you're getting, along with the overall experience, and then add in that the meal was really wonderful, I think it's a fair price. So have you tried the 360 experience? What did you think? Let everyone know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. I'm Jeff, and I'll see you on the back roads or on a future cruise.